twice a year for over to now. And uh, I've only been surfing six years, but I've seen you on many documentaries before. Oh, yeah. And uh, I was living in London just a year ago, and to be here now is uh, almost an honor, really. Yeah, that's a, the surfer's yeah. dream come true. Yeah. When I have interest in the most, and you can tell that the five second story is the big Wednesday poster in the other room. Were you a consultant on the movie? Yeah, I actually was uh, one of the lifeguards. My job was to paddle around behind Gary Busey. And uh, he, when they first started filming that, he could not surf at all. He actually learned to surf for the movie. And when he first, he would fall off his board, and, and I used to be about 10 yards behind him paddling around, so if he got in trouble, I rescued him. And then it actually led to the uh, producer, or the director, John Milius, he allowed me to begin to use the bear label, and we started making boards. And, and after that, I've been making uh, bear boards ever since then. Wow, wow! So a little bit of history on that one. And you, and you still surf yourself? What's your favorite? Surfing every day. Some of your favorite spots. I, I surfed this morning. I got up this morning. I surfed little Sunset Beach. It was about one to three foot, perfect little longboard wave. So I got up at six, surfed this morning, and I drove in here to Honolulu. So wow. I live at Sunset, so that's my my main. Tell them where you went this morning. Uh, we surfed that. Uh, Bambora's at Magic Island. Oh, nice. And it was a nice two foot wave for three foot on the sets. Yeah, yeah that's pretty cool. Which one of you knows what Bambora's means? I think we both do. Uh, I don't know about that. That's, you know, that's an Australian slang word for, for me, big waves. You know? Oh, wow. Uh, and they call it the Bombi, uh, the Bambora, the outside wave. Thanks.